What's going on dudes, it is Colossals here, welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. This took me such a long time to set up, like my my webcam software broke in the middle of trying to record and then my microphone um, switched to the to this mic and it was just all weird, I don't know what the hell happened but we're finally here, we're going to be, be playing Medivh and you guys probably noticed if you have been following my upload schedule you guys probably noticed that i was trying to avoid this video just because i don't really i don't really enjoy the playstyle of Medivh. i'm not claiming to be the best at him but i think i can play him but i just don't enjoy his playstyle up until about two days ago i had him on level four which means i've only played about two games with him since his release you know it's been like five months or something like that now i'm actually level seven i've taken my time just because of you guys i'm committed and today we'll be taking a look at Medivh. He's a range specialist, but Blizzard actually contemplated on, on naming him as support. And just because he's, he doesn't have any healing in his basic kit, they decided against it. Uh, they, they named him as specialist. And I had my kind of concerns, you know, also Tassadar, you know, he, he doesn't have any healing in, in his basic kit, but he's, he's named as support. So, you know, I was like, I was iffy on their justification, but I had, I had my uh, worries about Medivh, like where would he fit? If he's taken the, the spot of a specialist, how does he go against, you know, picking something like a Zagara for wave clear, is Gzul for amazing wave clear, or um, or Nazibo for some some additional damage? How does he fit and how does he exchange these heroes? But it turns out that I was kind of wrong and kind of right, and I want to show you guys what's happening. Let the games begin. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Garden of Terror map. Uh, it's so good to see the old maps return. Level one, we're going to go for Stable Portal, and I'll explain all all of it in a second. But first of all, to make and to make sense out of everything that he has, I have to explain his trait, which is called Raven Form. Instead of mounting you turn into, into this raven thing. It takes a bit longer than a normal mount, but you are invulnerable and nobody can knock you out of your uh, of your mounting form. No, no one can even target you. You can fly over terrain and it's super powerful, very good for scouting and stuff like that. Our key ability score, Arcane Rift, a skill shot in front of us. If you hit somebody, you will uh, be reducing its cooldown by five seconds. It's a normal seven second cooldown and refunding its full mana cost. So again, you want to be hitting enemy heroes um, when using this ability. Uh, Force of Will will protect an ally, basically making them invulnerable to damage but still susceptible to CC. For 1.5 seconds, it's only on a 5 second cooldown, so use it well and use it wisely. Our ability is called Portal, which means that we can, what we can do is we can stand here. We can do this. I can just, you know, just Portal and then when I'm done, boom, I'm done, I'm gone. So you, know, you can see how already we can make some amazing, amazing plays with um, with Medivh. And that's, that's all of his abilities. Um, for level 1 talent, we extend the duration for which the portal stays active. Um, so what I can do is I can actually give him the protect and actually save him from, uh, from that spider damage. Uh, let's save ourselves from that Nova. There we go, there's a hit. And then I actually put myself in the protect. Now I have three seconds up until the protect is gonna go onto our butcher, which I will be able to save from the from the damage, and I think he's gonna be fine. Let's, let's grab that globe to give him a little bit of healing. And looks like we're fine. Right, so Medif is not good at not good at anything in particular. He's good at protecting allies, right? He's good at just you know just being uh, a pain to the enemy team by just dealing poke damage with his Q. So he's he's a little bit of everything. So what I'm gonna do, I don't even have to work through you. I'm just gonna do this. He actually ro grabbed the wrong target just because I can you know I can uh, protect protect so he doesn't take unnecessary damage from the enemy towers. And by the way, we have some good two teams. Oh god damn it! Oh, she's right there. I missed. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 man. 
He almost grabbed that Nova as well, that was Stitches. Alright, good job. Are we gonna do this or something? I don't know, that's like... I, I can't do it, but... Uh, on this left range, we are going to go for Bird's Eye View. Bird's Eye View is going to allow me to... Let me just protect myself here. Um, in, in the bird, uh, while I'm in the Raven form, I get a, a wider range. Where, you know, in which I can see enemies, or just see, you know, just see the, the battleground. I, I can see through the mist of war. I think that's what it's called. I don't know what, it, what it's actually called. Fog of war. There we go. Fog of war. Uh, but I can also activate to see a huge area for a few seconds. You can see I, I can actually see the enemies, and I can actually scout them now. I see exactly what's going on. Our friendly butcher is going right in with that kill. Now I'm going to place this portal right. Right in front of the, right in front of this, this friendly team, it looks like we actually body blocking this, this, this stitches right, right in the place, and <laughs> looks like um, our butcher actually tried to go through the portal now. Oh, you blocked me! You body blocked me, you fuck! Uh, he tried to, you know, right click to attack, but what actually happened was um, he was clicking on the portal. I'm gonna give him the protect just so he doesn't die from the damage from the entirety of the enemy team. And the towers as well. Did I hit that? Yeah, I did. I did. So you see, when I hit people with you know with my Q, I actually uh, it actually also works on the on the on the enema enema enemy Nova and also Samuro um, clones. It, it works on all of those. We have to be careful of that enemy butcher engaging. He's actually right. He's lurking for us in the top lane. Uh, now looks like we're gonna get an engage out of him. I'm gonna protect our friendly butcher from the damage from this uh, from this charge. And he should be fine. He should be fine. I actually have another one. Actually, our Valor Falls. Uh, I'm gonna be actually picking um, picking up a talent to increase the damage from our Q. Uh, a Master Touch. I know not a, lot, not a lot of people like it, just because you know it's a very big gamble. Like you cannot die at all. all right. I used it on somebody else, not Butcher. But the enemy team is just making it easy for me to hit those skill shots. Look at that. You're just standing in all of those motherfuckers, man. Oh, I didn't get that Nova. No, and my portal closed. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I thought I'm going to get that Nova. All right, it's fine. It's good. Um, we got the, the bottom one, which means we are ahead on the seats, and now we should probably get some of these. Now, now our... Eh? Our Butcher engaged on Stitches? What? Ah, whatever. Master Touch. Uh, I have to hit 30 heroes to uh, to permanently increase the damage. I will be increasing damage um, you know, every single hit, but to permanently keep it, I cannot die up until I get 30 hits. Um, what's the actual number which I increase it by? So it's uh, 30 heroes increase without dying, permanently increase the damage dealt with 70, uh, by 75 and cooldown re reduction for hitting heroes by 1 second. So so it's going to be a 6 second cooldown reduction when I, when I hit a hero. Uh, so it's going to be 1 second cooldown um, after I complete this quest and some additional damage on, on top of what, I'm, what, I'm already, what I already will be doing. So get some of those skill shots, here's a protect on our friendly Bucherino. Uh, some more skill shots and some more skill skill shots. Oh, I'm not gonna get him! God damn it! He survived. All right, let's go into our, our our form again. Let's reveal if, if 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 there aren't any enemies trying to gank. I missed my fucking Q, <laughs> and it's happy days, bro. Happy days. My Avril died in somewhere. They hit. I didn't hit again. God fucking damn it, man. Looks like Arterial is going to be left here living against three people, so I will just kind of, you know. So I will just try to make it better. Oh, they actually just did, did hit level 10. I'm gonna give him the portal, but looks like he's not he, he's not gonna want to use it and he's gonna be killed. I did hit that bright wing as well. So I'm already on, on 11 stacks. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm gonna be careful of that hook. I don't wanna get hooked like a like a little mother. Like that tail right there. Again, that stitch is still might be somewhere here. But no you fucker. You made me miss. 
Right, it looks like they rotated, so I'm just gonna write missing. I'm gonna come back. Away with you, Away with you, you stupid dragon! Right, so he was—he actually did receive some changes. He was just way too weak when he first released. People just didn't know what to, uh, what to do with him. He's still on the weaker end, you know, especially in a quick match when you know when like it is 100% not coordinated, right? Like you will still need that voice voice uh, connection to somebody to actually portray, say, "I'm gonna be making this portal. Go through it. We have a kill right there." You see what I mean? Like he's still weak in that regard in quick match. But when it comes to like anything else, yeah, I got that, I got that hit. Uh, Polybomb is gonna be my uh, my heroic of choice. I'm gonna be basically. Oh fuck! There's a portal, man. There's a right there. What? Why didn't he? Exactly what I'm saying. You see what I mean? Like he didn't use his portal, and uh, that's gonna cost him his life. Oh wow, that was good. I'm out here. I have nothing to do with this. I will have nothing to do with that. Again, it's all about Tyrion. We went to save him, but he didn't use the portal just because it's quick match. It's I don't know. It, like he was just, just tunnel visioned on you know on getting out of there by I don't know by walking through the towers and everything. Like I don't understand. Oh fuck! I'm dead probably. Yeah. yeah. This is homeless. <laughs> I'm guessing he was saying hopeless, but I lost my stack, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I lost my stacks of, of, of Master's Touch. <sighs> but you can, you can see, you know, I'm not actually the lowest on damage. I'm actually above our Butcher, which is pretty, pretty respectable. Our Vala, we're walking right into the enemy Butcher. Um, but she's she actually she got saved by that uh, stitches, which is which she she should be thankful for. Our friendly butcher is in a little bit of trouble. I'm gonna try to save him if I can. Right, there's a protect. Oh my god. And you can see, even though you know I have the protect and everything, that's why hit the medieve is still very squishy. Some of you guys are probably laughing at me right now. You guys are like Master Medivh and you you would have played a lot of this differently. But again, what, what I said, I can play him, but I do not claim to be the best Medivh player out there. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm a main support, right? I main support, so I naturally, naturally uh, believe I can, you know, I can kind of support uh, with you know with uh, with Medivh, right? So So you see my poly bomb I didn't actually explain what it did, but what it did is what it does is it it, it just it's just like Brightwing Polymorph, but um what it does He actually wants to die, that's fine. Alright, we lost our Tyrael again. Right, so what it does, it's just like Brightwing Polymorph, right? But it's it's on a longer cooldown. It's, it has a longer duration uh, for two seconds. Plus, it's you know it's only only zero point two five seconds, you know, uh, like increased increased duration. Actually, no, it's sorry, one point. Actually, it's zero point five. It's a half second duration decrease, right? Oh, nice, nice. Got him! <laughs> this butcher keeps picking up my portals. And what it does, it also it also gives that a little area around the polymorph target. And if any of of his friends are going to be standing around that uh, around that um, around that area, we will be able. Right, here's the polymorph. If you know, if any of his friends will be standing in that area, they will also be polymorphed after that, and then you know it can actually continue, uh, continue. If so, uh, I'm actually in a lot of trouble right here, and I'm dead. Yeah. 
He's hitting 444 per hit. Good, yeah, good, good to have a charge, especially when you, um... Ooh, nice sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. But he should, they should be focusing on the butch now. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go for pull to portal range. It seems like we uh, we would actually benefit greatly from a, from an extended range. Honestly, he can just heal off of you. I don't know what the, what that serial did, but yeah. Yeah, so that's Poly Bomb for you. He also has Lane Land Seal, which is like a skill shot, like a very slow traveling skill shot, and it's just like VP, but in a straight line. It just travels and it just stays with people um, who are. I just missed that fucking big ass terror. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. Yes! There's a hit. Oh shit. No! Right. Right, let, me, let me get all them hits, bruh. Let me let me get all them hits, bruh. Let me get them free hits, bruh. I missed. Oh no, I didn't miss. There we are, man. He stayed for no reason. Like he could have easily escaped that. I mean, maybe not easily, but he could have escaped that pretty much without too much hassle. But he just decided to stay and die. Right, I'm gonna actually reveal, see what the enemy team is doing. They're probably doing yeah. They're probably going for the bottom, uh, bottom bra. I'm gonna try to scout them. Maybe they're trying to gank. It looks like Nazibo's up in here. Yeah, they're doing this. So we can see. I'm scouting them. He is engaging on somebody. I'm gonna actually polymorph before they can do anything. You can see the polymorph spreading right here. Uh, I'm gonna try. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, again, focus that butcher, but he actually put uh, his uh, butcher's brand on me. Just because I was under pressure, I, I kind of freaked out and I didn't know what to do at the end. I mean, I did. I, I, I'm just kidding about that, but. Yeah, what happened was I used my force of will, but I didn't do my port on time. I didn't, didn't go through it in time. Uh, they actually increased the time on which you have to engage. He went for the lump to the slaughter, right? And it's off cooldown. Oh no, it's hurry. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's on cooldown. I didn't, I didn't see, and I didn't see it pop it, popping up. So I'm gonna go for reabsorption on level uh, 16. I actually like that tower. Nobody likes it, but it's actually the. On that was a good hook, and now our butcher's die probably dead probably. Um, yeah, so what? Fucking god hands, bruh! Fucking god hands, bruh! Dude, that shield as well. I'm, I'm on my way, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to save that. There's a protect. Right, uh, is, some, is anybody in trouble? Oh, this looks like we're fine, so we're fine. Yeah, we all made it out of there, man. Right, let me jump into my... my. Did he, did he eat somebody? I don't think so. Right. Two heads, man. I have to stack my uh, Master Stash, by the way, again. Uh, I, by the way, if you die with Master Stash, I already stacked at like 25, which is what I had. You're pretty much not likely to get it done up until really late or none at all. So. Try not to die after you know, after you actually uh, first start stacking. Um, Such a weak flesh. <sighs> so all that damage was from basic attack, pinning shot, basic attack. And snipe. That doesn't look quite right. I thought she did more, way more damage to me with a snipe at the beginning. I, th I thought she engaged with the snipe. That's why. I, that's why I was so slow and actually not putting force of will on me again. That's some god hands again. It's like we're just we're just getting picked apart by this enemy team. Butcher, uh, not butcher, but Stitch is doing a very great job at uh, just you know just picking us apart again. You know, pulling pulling our friendlies are. Tazar puts himself right into the wall, which I didn't think was possible to put himself into that wall. There was another hook which almost grabbed that Vala. Looks like she's gonna be fine. I'm not playing the best myself. I'm not gonna say I don't, I'm, I'm like the best shit ever. Like I'm, I'm the hot shit, man. But uh, I need to be careful of the hook, which is coming. It's coming. The hook is coming. Okay. It, it didn't come. Now we have to be care careful of the hook again. I thought there's a slow on the enemy Zebo. 
Ooh, Gold Hans again, boys. Again, the enemy team is in a party. They're, they're in a four-man party. Therefore, uh, you know. I'm getting the fuck out, man. Oh, the jukes are real right here, man, nigga. Oh, man. That was a good. That was a good save. Oh shit, our Vala is in trouble. Our Vala is in trouble. They don't see her. They don't see her. They see her Imperial. Ah, oh, that was just not not in time. They actually might get a pull on me if they follow up on it. So you, you see, you know, you, you're capable of those nice plays, you know, like me saving Vala right there. You know, you, you, you know, you saw that Juke City. Um, she went through that portal, you know, going back to the location where I posted it in. You can make it even better with you know with with grabbing you know both of those um I'm just gonna get some easy stacks up for this guy. Easy stacks. Easy stacks and if I can miss, god damn it. Alright, we have to be careful of the butcher coming. That butcher comes, we're just out of here. I think he's getting tap, if I'm not mistaken. Right, so he's on the on somebody. No, there, there, there is. Good job. Good job. Right. Awesome. He actually went for the. Um, he went for the full shield build. Really? That Tusdar. He did. There's an evasive shield. Really? I mean, it's not bad, right? Like some, uh, like a very good shield like that. Oh shit. Oh, that polymorph bombed out, man. Uh, I'm gonna get eaten, so I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm gonna actually, as soon as I'm out, I'm gonna try to do this and actually, poor oh, yes, I'm I'm I'm, I'm safe. All right, what I try to do is try to re-engage here with oh, maybe you know actually we need to have nothing to re-engage at. Damn, that was that was close. This, I'm telling you, this is just good. I rarely say this about about anybody, but this is just gonna can actually play the game. I'm gonna go back for a second. Uh, this rare range, yes, I don't know. Probably glyph of poly. Like this is weird, just because we don't have too much ability power damage. So arcane brilliance is just like meh, and then invisibility is meh, just because we. Do, I, I don't think we need the invisibility. And then, so Garden of Trisfall is just bad, just because you don't want to use it on um, on minions anyway. So Glyph of... Oh, we just have to go for the increased... I missed. I fucking missed. God damn. I missed again. I don't want to I don't, I don't get myself extended as much. Um, you know, if there would be like Butcher for me waiting right there... Uh, what? Well, dude, I was out of that. I was out of that pretty nicely. All right, we can engage now. Go, 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 go. I can poly. I could have polyed that Brightwing so he couldn't use Emerald Wind. All right, whatever. Looks like our friendly team did not want to have balls and not, and didn't engage there. Right there. Uh, the enemy stitches is right here, and we can see him. The enemy butcher coming in. He's gonna get polymorphed to shit. And now if he he's actually silenced. Very nice silence from our friendly butcher. Might actually secure a few kills right here. I'm actually gonna like to protect our friendly um our friendly Tyrael who was actually in a little bit of a trouble. I'm gonna mount up and try to chase after his bright wing. Uh... Alright, there's a protect. Our Vala died from Nova, by the way, so we kind of lost tra track of that. Uh, we can definitely push a little bit here. Oh, you missed! 
Oh, just. I know that there's a kill. Oh, one more, one more stack, bro. One more stack, boys. Now I'm gonna have the master touch. All right, let's actually back it up. Um, I don't have two hearth now. I'm, I'm just gonna fall one. I'm actually faster than the than, than mount. Uh, I'm actually faster than normal speed, but not mount speed. Mount speed is a little bit faster than my um, than the raven form speed. I've not been using my. Um, there we go, I mastered my I've actually mastered my master stretch and I'm actually hitting quite nicely. It's like a little nuke when I actually do hit it. Sorry. Double silence deal. Nice sank, nice sank. I don't think it's gonna do a lot, but can we, can we get him? So you can see how we, we can just constantly poke right now. I'm gonna actually protect our um, our friendly uh, butcher so he doesn't take too much damage from those zombies. Uh, but other, other than that, it's good. I actually do like uh, the talent on level 16 that I picked up. Um, what is it called? Reabsorption. Uh, you reabsorb 50% of the damage that you know that your the target of force of will has taken. So, for example, you know if there's a lot of like a lot of burst damage coming from. Gonna get back. Oh, shit. Oh, I've got to shield something. Easy. Right. Oh, 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 that was such a close hook, goddamn. Uh, yeah, so you can see, Medivh, you know, is, he's kind of a jack of all trades, right? You know, he can. Can do a little bit of damage if you if you master if you um, max out his master touch. Um, he can definitely very well protect his allies and really displace like a very set up uh, set up nice place for the friendly team um, with his portals. Also, you know, also kind of a good counter to again you know a lot of burst damage with which what's what butcher is all about. Helping my butcher, you know, with the force of will, and also uh, again disabling their butcher, you know, with polyban. Super, super great uh, if we engage now. So there's the engage from our friendly Butcher. He's going to be engaging on Stitches again with, for some apparent reason. I'm going to give him the Protect if I'll be able to. Where the fuck is he? Oh, right, here he got in. There's the Protect. There's the Silence. And we can actually do quite a lot with this now. Ooh, very nice blink. I'm actually going to... Portal. You meet. <laughs> nice persistent. I have to go back, we have to go back, we have to go back. <laughs> we have to go back to protect against that uh, camp right here. I'm not the best to do it just because I... My, like, my wave clear is on a very uh, very long cooldown if I don't hit heroes. But again, I will be... I will be... I'll just be alone. Uh, I have to do it, you know. The friendly team just doesn't... Looks like they are retreating. Okay, that's our end butcher are hearting right now. Just because our core is on quite a lot... Under a lot of pressure right here. Protect myself against the damage, heal a little bit, but I'm gonna have to back it up. And that's it, that's game. Uh, our, our core was just way too low. We did wipe the enemy team, but we didn't have any of the keeps uh, pushed. Is that keep or a four? I think the level two is four. So, or keep, I don't know, first time material. Yeah, yeah, so that was his first, uh, first time material. Again, he died way too much, he dived way too much, but he didn't play the worst at the end. Again, we won't be the MVP of the game just because you know we did die quite a lot. The enemy Brighton grabs that for us. But our our trust stars here and our our Vala. So I'm gonna probably vote for Vala. Again, not gonna vote for myself anymore. 
I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys heard that on my last stream, but that's that's, that's my rule now. So, again, Medivh is this jack of all trades, right? You can see we've we've done uh, we were right above Tastar and actually above Tyrio in damage. Um, a little bit under Butcher and of course Val is, 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 is like is an has uh, is an ha is an hundred percent assassin. That's what that's what it's meant to say, and it's going to deal way more damage than any of of these guys. But you can see I'm pretty respectable on damage. Uh, and I wasn't actually hitting too many of my Qs, right? Like, you know, I died a few times and then uh, and I missed my Master's Touch by uh, my completion of Master's Touch by, by doing that. I did, I died six times, god damn it. I, I, have, I shouldn't have uh, died so much. Uh, but I did get some healing. You see, I did 35k healing, which means, you know, this is the target, this is the damage prevention, healing from a reabsorption, and uh, you know, amongst also some other stuff. Um, which is good, and you know, 35k is actually a respectable number, right? You know, this is like the half of Tassadar's healing, um, and you know, it's like a quarter, like if, it's like a third of, uh, of of healing of Brightwing. So it's still a respectable healing, right? So let's go over talents again. On level one, I went for a stable portal. Uh, I don't feel like mana uh, isn't too much of an issue if you're hitting your Q. Um, so again, Raven's intellect not going to be that useful. Master uh, portal mastery could make some amazing plays. So if you're like away from your team and you want to still set up place for them away from yourself, sure. Then you can place both portals. They, they both have about the same range. So you guys saw when I when I placed my portal, I have only pressed E once for the second location because it was spawning the first one at my location. With Portal Master, you can set both. So you can say one there and one there, right? And you, I'm standing here, I'm just doing one there, one there, and people f can walk there. Of course, you would have to walk there to, you know, to go through to go through the to through the portal, but... Um, activate your trade to cancel an unlinked portal. Okay, so you just press D to cancel and activate the portal. Awesome. But I went for stable portal, just increase the duration, you know, just lets me to get in, get out, get in, get out, you know, a few times instead of you know, just going through, going back, and that's it. You know what I mean? Um, on level four, I went for bird's eye view, which I was hoping that would let me reveal that Nova, but actually didn't use for that. I was just I was just using it for scouting what the enemy team is doing. Um, where is everybody? Are there any ganks um, waiting for my friendly team? That's what I was using it for. Um, another choice here, which I guess would be Mage Armor. It's pretty good. Um, against that Butcher, I guess. Nova has some, some mean damage as well. Actually, I'm just looking right now. Um, the one I should have been picking for, for Nova would be Dust of Appearance. But Bird's Eye View, it just increases my... Uh, so it was more like a scouting tool. Uh, dust appearance is for revealing heroes. On level seven, we picked up the master's touch, but there's also some other ones. You know, uh, arcane rift deals more damage after hitting a hero. So again, when you hit a hero with your arcane rift, you will be dealing thirty percent more with your next one. And then if you hit that one, it's going to just stay thirty percent increased damage flat. Yeah. So you know, it's more of a quicker payoff kind of thing. But master's touch at the end uh, just adds up to be just a bigger number increase. Arcane explosion. Uh, basically, when the thing expires, when your force of will expires, um, it actually deals a little bit, uh, a little bit of damage. This used to be super strong, and it used to be the only talent. Uh, so, the the only talent taken in this tier, so they they tone it down. Uh, but it's still really good. Um, but yeah, master touch is probably your way to go, um, especially if you're if you're learning medieval, right? Like you want to jump straight into the into the the, the, the really deep water. Level 10, Polybomb, I think, will be your choice in most situations, but if you want to cut off, you know, just a little bit of the enemy team, you can do that as well. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, maybe you want to cut off a healer who's, you know, who's standing behind. You fly, you post this up, you, you know, you lay, you lay line seal just behind the enemy lines, maybe catching one of the damage dealers and the, um, the healer, and the, the, you know, the, th the rest of them cannot walk into it, because there's no VP to walk into, you know, to get stasis to be safe, they have to fight, you know, a three v five or something like that. So it has its uses, but I think polybomb will be your cho your choice most of the time. On thirteen, 
uh, I went for the astral projection just because I felt like I needed the the range. But you can also go for you know for the cooldown if if you're playing something like a Tomb of the Spider Queen, um, you can actually you know do quite nice things. Um, you know, this actually decreases the cooldown by fifty percent, so you've only so you're cutting cutting it at half, uh, which means you know you will be able to use it much much more. But just range just allowed me to you know secure secure free kills and actually secure secure also also living of that Vala uh, before. On the 16, I went for reabsorption, but a lot of people go for a circle of protection or enduring will. Actually, reabsorption is the lowest pick rate talent on this um, out of the three. Uh, this gives to everybody around. Uh, so when I cast it, for example, in Butcher and Val would be around, she would also get it too. So I guess I see how that's very powerful. But again, I wanted to get some more healing, an actual healing, onto onto the battlefield uh, because we didn't we didn't have any healing. We only had Tastar. And on level 20, I did go for a Glyph of Polybomb. So this explodes one second sooner, so only after one second. But uh, but again, it, it's going to explode, so it's going to spread one second sooner. And the spread radius is going is increased by 7%. So you know, the, the the radius on which is, is increased, plus it is exploded sooner. So you know, it's going to be... Um, it's actually a like... It's more likely to, um, to give you... To give you... To give you value out of the actual explosion where others would turn into sheeps as well so again difficulty very hard he's very easy to pick up but he's very very hard to master again you saw me there making mistakes you know maybe not putting force of will on, on somebody just putting it on maybe or maybe on a, a wrong target so there's a lot of skill gap i might i might be getting more into him later on but for now i'm just kind of like eh, there, there are more heroes i want to master there are more heroes i want to share with you guys but now we can actually move on to all the exciting changes that happened to the heroes you know we've got chen we've got valerino we've got uh etc we got uh the haka received some changes um who else received changes muradin went through some some heavy heavy changes uh who else I'm looking right now. Uh, he's gonna go through through some changes, uh, Artanis. But uh, yeah, Zagara went through a lot of changes as well. So a lot of different characters that you know went through changes, and we're gonna have to take a look at them eventually. So again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, where's Medi? Slap that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hopefully that was. Uh, you know and like fun enough and also informational enough for you guys uh, i'm not trying to say i'm the best again i'm just you know i'm just kind of trying to have some fun maybe explain the character a little bit to people who who, who haven't even picked him up yet you, know, you see what i mean and maybe maybe give some laughing material for the people who, who master medieval like long like long, like five months ago right so again thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace on the motherfucking streets Bye.